Hey guys, it's Alex Sturgeon here with a unboxing. We haven't done one of these in a little while. Um, pretty cool car came in uh, right at the end of the day and I pulled them out of the box and went, oh my gosh, we got these in today. Let's check it out. It's the uh, 1970 Chevy Chevelle uh, Mini No Prep Dragster. And uh, I got myself a blue one here and I wanna open it up and I wanna show you guys what it looks like. So it's actually kind of a little bit bigger uh, than I thought it was going to be. Let's take the body off. The body is the blue. The, I don't know if the video is going to do the blue on this car justice. I really like the blue a lot. Uh, they come in blue and black. Proline actually has a body already out there for it. I think it's a Mustang. Uh, if you want to change it out, if you don't like the retro look, you can go with a little bit more modern uh, vehicle. So it does come with lights. So the lights are connected, as you can see here. And uh, we'll turn that on here in a second. Let's flip it around so I can point at what we got. So, um, a lot of it shares parts with its Mini B, Mini T counterpart. So you can see the, uh, the turnbuckles, the links, the shocks. Um, I believe the arms are the same, the knuckles, rear hubs. Um, that should be all the same. Little wheelie bar there, it's pretty cool. Uh, 6,000 kV uh, Firma Spectrum brushless motor and ESC combo. So this is one of those um, motors again that already has the ESC built into it. I like where they put the on off switch too, right in the middle. So you can get your finger underneath of there. Um, this one, unlike the uh, the Mini B, Mini T ready to runs, does come with the, uh, the SLT uh, style uh, Spectrum receiver and, and a version of that radio. So the SLT2, you can see it there, maybe in the glare. And uh, still kind of a little small uh, controller, but it's a small car, so that makes sense, right? Um, SX107 um, servo, and then I want you guys to look at this. So I believe that this is a new servo horn on there. Uh, some, it's definitely different from the one that the, uh, the B and the T use, so I'm actually pretty interested to see if that might carry over to uh, to the off-road cars. Uh, the tires, actually got this up. The tires are uh, soft and sticky. They're actually pretty sticky right out of the box. And you can see the length of the chassis. Look at how much longer that is. That is crazy. And uh, it actually looks like it has extra mounting holes too. That's interesting. So like shorten the wheelbase. Hmm, that's pretty neat. Little baby front bumper up here. Let's uh, let's plug it in and uh, see what it looks like with the lights on, shall we? Get that out of the way. Do 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 do. do. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks pretty good. I like it. It's got taillights too. The taillights are even cooler. Probably show up better even with the black uh, the black version of the car. I like it. That's pretty neat. Again, it's a little bit bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Um, here's a Mini B and a JRX2 just in comparison. So it's definitely quite a bit longer. And uh, I don't know. I'll be uh, I'll be interested to see what it does on the track. I guess we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see for that because it's six degrees outside and there's snow on the ground. So we'll uh, we'll be able to see how it performs later. But anyways, that's it. Uh, let's see what else comes in here before I leave. The usual the usual stuff. So inside of here is going to be like your instruction manual. I'm not going to take the time to get that out because I know none of you people actually read that stuff. And then again, here's your controller. Um, kind of covered that a little bit, but looks good. I like it. They're going to be two. They are two twenty nine. Uh, we got them in stock right now at the Hobby Town Hobby Flex in Omaha, Nebraska. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and tell your friends.